Moral relativism, also known as cultural relativism or meta-ethical relativism, is a meta-ethical position that states ethical statements are truth apt, but whether something is moral or immoral is dependent upon what a culture declares to be moral or immoral. For example, if culture A says slavery is immoral, then slavery is immoral for culture A. And if culture B says slavery is moral, then slavery is moral for culture B. Seeing as moral relativism is a meta-ethical position, it concerns itself with the nature of morality. Unlike normative ethics, it's not in the business of giving prescriptive statements. Although adopting moral relativism could entail one's normative ethics to be rather straightforward. Moral relativism is, initially, an attractive position among many people, but it suffers from serious objections. In this video, I will be going over some problems with moral relativism. According to moral relativism, a culture is always correct with its moral pronouncements. However, this position means one cannot morally condemn the actions of one's own culture. Today, it's rather uncontroversial to say same-sex marriage should be legal. And further, to hamper the legalization of same-sex marriage is to act immorally. But it wasn't too long ago when most Americans did not support same-sex marriage. Strangely enough, under moral relativism, one would be immoral to support same-sex marriage during the time when it was most opposed. This applies to all civil rights movements that have worked to change the majority's beliefs. This criticism also extends to retroactively condemning the acts of cultures. Most Americans today support same-sex marriage, they think slavery and segregation are abhorrent acts, and they believe women should have the same rights as men. But at one point in time, most Americans did not hold these beliefs. In fact, many of them were opposed to such beliefs, and some cultures today still cling to such beliefs. If one is a moral relativist, then this means they were not morally wrong for believing what we now consider to be immoral. They were morally right then, as we are morally right now. How exactly do we define culture? Defining it as the shared beliefs and customs of a society, organization, group, or community does not clear up the ambiguity we're faced with, as these terms face similar problems. The line that delineates a culture, society, and so on uh, is incredibly hard to pin down. Even if a definition can be agreed upon, we're still left with the problems of its application. How many cultural shifts has America gone through since its inception? What do we say about the cultures within cultures? Under moral relativism, do these subcultures have their own moral precepts, or are they acting immorally when they go against the broader culture they inhabit? Moral relativists get themselves into trouble when they begin to lump together descriptive, normative, and meta-ethical relativism. These are all separate positions, and one does not necessarily entail the other. Yet, this does not prevent people from arguing for meta-ethical relativism by simply putting forth descriptive relativism, which, speaking from my experience, is a rather common move. Descriptive relativism is an empirical claim that cultures have been observed to have their own moral beliefs and practices. The moral relativist who makes such a claim needs to explain how the descriptive claim justifies one's meta-ethical position. The argument usually takes the form of cultures have been observed to disagree on what is moral, therefore morality is not objective but is, instead, relative to cultures. This argument is a complete non sequitur, since the conclusion does not necessarily follow from its premise. Cultures have been observed to disagree on the shape and age of the earth, yet it doesn't follow that the shape and age of the earth is relative to cultures. The non sequitur becomes more apparent when we see that one can be a descriptive relativist and hold nearly any other meta-ethical position. For example, philosopher J. L. Mackey is known for being an error theorist, which holds that ethical statements are truth apt, but they are all false, and one of his arguments relied on descriptive relativism as a premise. The argument from relativity, as Mackey called it, argues that the variety of moral beliefs is more readily explained by cultural conditioning rather than any sort of differences in epistemic access to moral facts. I think Mackey's argument from relativity fails for a few reasons, which I might cover in a future video, but it's definitely a far more robust argument than the one moral relativists will often use. As I mentioned earlier, moral relativists will occasionally adopt what is called normative relativism as well. 
They will say we ought to respect other cultures' ethical beliefs and that we shouldn't impose our own morality on them. But should all cultures espouse this tolerance? If so, then there's at least one prescriptive claim that transcends its meta-ethical foundation. With this added normative claim, this form of moral relativism contradicts itself and, as such, should be rejected.